everybody welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts and today we're going to learn a variation of the BOGO rule. In the previous video we might have learned how to create a buy one get one free meaning buy one product and get an extra quantity of the same product for free isn't it. In this video we're going to learn how to offer a buy one product and get another product for free okay a different product. Well we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called discount rules pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard. You'll find WooCommerce there, under which you can find Woo discount rules. If you click on this, you'll be taken to this page, which enables you to configure a rule. Now to create a new rule, we'll have to click on add new button, which will take you to this page. Here you can configure your rule, okay? So let's start off by entering a title. The BOGO scenario that we're trying to accomplish in this video is we're allowing customers to buy a certain product named sunglasses, okay? So on purchasing this sunglass product or adding it to the cart, customers will be able to get another product named cap for free. Okay. So let's first enter the title for this discount rule. Now I'm going to say buy sunglasses. Get cap for free. Okay. So this is my rule title. Let's go ahead and select the discount type by clicking on this drop down and the discount type that is suitable for this particular scenario is going to be a buy X get Y discount. Okay, nice. Next comes the important step. Here we get to define the particular product to be bought by the customer. Remember only if customers buy sunglasses, they'll be able to get cap for free. So here we're going to define sunglass in the filter. To define it, we'll have to click on the drop down, select products because we have a specific product to be bought by the customers. And here I'm going to select sunglass. Well, here are the sunglasses. And then after you have defined the product to be bought by the customers in the filter, now let's allow customers to get the free product. To do this, we are going to first select the discount type for the free product. And I'm going to select buy X, get Y products. Why do I go for buy X, get Y products? Is because I have a specific product to be given as a free gift for customers okay after selecting the discount type for the Y product we're going to go for the mode of application so you can see there are three different modes of application the first one is auto add the second cheapest and the third highest all right so let's only deal with auto add which is very suitable for this scenario meaning that the free product cap will be automatically added to the cart if I select the mode of apply to be auto add so what happens is if customers buy sunglasses, if they add this product to the cart, they'll be able to see another product called cap is automatically added to their cart. Okay. That's why we go for auto add. Let's start defining the minimum and maximum quantity. Let's set the minimum quantity to one, which means customers can buy one of sunglass and get the free product. Okay. Maximum quantity is suggested to keep empty so that customers can buy more of the sunglasses okay not just one quantity nice after this we'll have to select the discount type and if i click on this drop down you can see the different discount types but according to the scenario i'm just giving a free product and i'm selecting free to be the discount type here okay now it's important for us to define the product that we are willing to give away to the users as a gift for this i'll have to select the product i'm going to select cap to be the free product after we have selected the free product, we will also have to define the free quantity of this particular free product. I'm going to set it to one. According to the configuration that we have made, what happens if customers buy one sunglass, they'll be able to get one cap for free. Okay, I'll repeat. If customers buy one or more sunglasses, they'll get one of the cap for free. Okay, nice. Now these are two different products. Let's talk about the recursive option before we save and close the rule. Okay, we know the function of this recursive option. If I turn this recursive option on, the discount applies for every sequential range. Okay, now if I buy one sunglass, I'll get one cap for free. 
okay but if i enable the recursive option if i buy three sunglasses i'll get three caps for free similarly six sunglasses i'll get six caps for free okay so if you want the discount to apply on sequential ranges you can have the recursive option on with that being said let's just save and close the rule nice after we have saved and closed the rule you'll be able to see that the rule is active and it's time for us to test the rule to test it i'm going to take you to the storefront and here you can see that if i buy sunglasses i'll be able to get cap for free okay let's test this to test this we'll have to first add sunglasses to the cart because this is the product to be bought isn't it this is the one that qualifies us for the free product so let me add this to the cart take you to the cart page and show you what happens here we are on the cart page and you can see as soon as i added sunglasses to my cart i have received cap for free now you can notice that i did not add cap it was automatically added to the cart and that is why we go for the auto add function here while configuring the rule okay nice this is how it works let's also check if the recursive option works correctly meaning the discount should apply for sequential ranges okay so let me increase the quantity to 3 update the cart and you'll be able to see i receive 3 caps for free similarly if i increase to 6 you can see that i get 6 caps for free nice isn't it that's how it works thank you so much for watching